Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Ah, another Thursday night in the Riverbend area. Just a wee bit after six. We got a bit of a late start tonight because the uh, the baseball game, but we are here now with Riverbend Talent. We being uh, a softball game. Uh, your mic's not on. There we go. Uh, there we go. So that's Dennis over there turning his microphone on. I'm Pigpen. This is Riverbend Talent. Uh, and we are brought to you by Halpin Music Company and Matt Van Voris of Macias Insurance. They have been sponsoring us for uh, three, four years now. I don't know how long we've been doing this. I remember I felt a lot younger when we started. <laughs> I think you're in there now. Oh, I don't know. No? We we're experiencing technical difficulties. Also, um, our, we have an engineer, Alex Honky. He puts together videos for us. Uh, if you ever want to see the videos, you go to the YouTube channel, cottonmouth.org. You can check out the videos from this show. Alex Honky, our engineer who puts all that together, is sponsored by Michael Kreider of Farmers Insurance. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're fixed. There we go. Lolo. Yeah, he, he, he pushed audition. that button. He knows he the, the microphone in audition. I wasn't looking at that. I can't uh, hardly see those lines up there, actually. Uh, I, I assume. still don't have headphones, though. I assume the reason that he had to, like, do a certain number, like, push it three times and push off once and on again. I, All right. So now. Uh oh. All the lights are fixed. He's not on now, though. There. No. What did he say? I don't know. What did you say? Oh, I think I said there I it know is. how to push the buttons, though. Oh, you're pushing I'm my pushing buttons, buttons, pal. Oh, that yeah, is, baby. That is the voice of Lolo, Mr. Lauren Luckett. He is the afternoon drive man on my mix 94.3 and also all the time here oh, doing yeah. stuff at WBGZ. Whether it be for Smash or board op in a ball game, you know, it is what it is. Always doing something, for man. Sure, for sure. Busy man. And so. this is my debut on riverbend talent i'm excited <laughs> man See, here's the thing he told me a couple weeks ago he goes before it's over i'm gonna be on every show you exactly, watch exactly. and now he just getting he just he's going home to mark this one off yeah, his buddy. yeah buddy <laughs> welcome to the show buddy well, thank you i appreciate it i'm so happy to be here just uh, thrilled just thrilled yes. man yeah hey well thanks for all your help uh you know I don't even know what you did over there. You said oogly boogly, and yes, suddenly it I, worked. Yes, I so. did my wizardry. Yeah. I left my my wand at home for my wife, but uh, see, you're one of those guys. I take my she, wand with me. She, some women she like to take their magic every time. <laughs> every time she does some sort of magic. My, well, you know, we could get down to the brass tacks here, and uh, you know, my we wife were rushing because you were trying to load up the thing. Uh, yeah, yes, right. This is true. This is Lolo true. had the bo- board set completely different than what we needed. Yes. And, that, you know, uh, I blame time, him, man. By the time blame I'm Lolo. coming on air, I'm trying to engineer and uh, throw it to you at the same yeah. time. So. Oh, yeah, well. We're, we're and, all And we're then all he good came now. in and went, oh, yeah, here's the buttons I had to push. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I forgot to zero the board back out, man. I'm sorry. Oh, it's no. this button really. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know me. I got to get to the truth. Hey, the, well, I, the truth is he's got a magic wand. He leaves it home with his wife, and she performs magic. My wife performs magic with my wand sometimes, too. It's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. I know. I know. <laughs> I, the magic all. is uh, at Morrison's. There you go. Magic you happening go. at Morrison's mm-hmm. right now. And the magic starts down there. With a couple shots of Irish whiskey, right? Yes. That, that is the uh, the right. magic potion that they have down and there. And the sea shanty. And then once you hey, get a couple shots and you start singing the sea shanties, that's happening. Happens every Thursday, but it's happening right now, six to nine p.m. Morrison's Irish Pub in Alton. Also tonight, what do we got? Uh, the Truckers, yeah. six to ten p.m. down at Fast Eddie's Bon Air. Mm-hmm. Open mic hosted by Everhart and Light. 6 to 10 at Baker's and Hale in Godfrey. Gabe yep. Marshall at uh, Georgia's local brew in Jerseyville. 7 to 10. Ethan Jones, 6 to 9 p.m. at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. And then Mo Pleasure, 6 to 9 p.m. at Patrick's in Granite City. Right. Bobby Rollins and Tim Campbell, 7 to 11 at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. And uh, Scott Marlin, 6 to 9 at Old Herald Brewery in Collinsville. And then Mr. Pat Liston, 7 p.m. at Copper Fire in Belleville, which Lolo, Lauren, who was just in here and just skied 
Daddled mm. is starting a new show on My Mix 94.3 this Saturday called The Vinyl Vault, where he's going to play whole albums. This album, Pat Liston, his band Mama's Pride, their first album is going to be one of the albums that he uh, he has on his first show there. So there you go. There you go. Pat Liston at the Copper Fire in Belleville, 7 p.m. That's happening tonight, man. Yeah. When's he going to play Delaney and Bonnie? Uh, I, don't, you know what? I'm going to ask him about yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> you hear that, Lolo? I know you're listening either yeah. out in the halls or in your car, wherever you are. We got to interview Bonnie Bramlett. We did, man. And that we're going to have to play that interview. We're kind of booked up here for the next couple yeah. of weeks promoting some stuff. But see, he's back. Wow. Yeah, if you say his name three times, he'll and now appear. His <laughs> second appearance, exactly. And as many. Hey, what? An old friend of the show coming no, back on. I know. It's been forever. It's been forever. You look so different since I, last time you I've were aged. on. I've <laughs> aged. I got my walker. I left it outside. So, did you hear what he said? What's that? Delaney and Bonnie. That's his request for the vinyl vault. Yeah. Okay. Delaney yep. and uh, Bonnie. Sure. Bonnie Bramlett from Granite City. Oh, yeah. I'll see if I can get my hands on Eric that. Clapton's best friend. Oh, really? One yeah. Of, yeah. One mm-hmm. of the forgers of rock and roll. The you can first... see that on YouTube. He introduces uh, Delaney and Bonnie as his best friends. Yeah. Like Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton does. Me. And yeah. at the age 15, she was the first and only white Iket. Right? <laughs> no uh, kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No God. That's and funny. Ike Turner was a gentleman. As the entire time. The, yeah. According to her, Ike Turner was a complete gentleman. Yep. So R. Kelly was not there. a complete gentleman when I worked with him. Yeah. But I do enjoy drinking from my R. Kelly thermos sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know what's in it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you know, she, yeah, you should check it out. Delaney and Bonnie. Oh, Delaney yeah. Delaney and Bonnie, okay. And they she, were the uh, uh, all the mind. musicians from that time. Yeah. That's who they looked up to. I tell you what, ever since I told everybody about the vinyl vault people have been coming to me with suggestions on records to play which is great it's fantastic because look i'm 36 so i can't go back as far as you guys can maybe to to dive in and that's not an old joke he's like (laughs) i'm gonna play my first album i ever got that was justin bieber no (laughs) now that would be britney spears so (laughs) dude no no man listened to britney spears we watched her videos but we didn't listen come on come on man and she was hot too so Uh, right so we got to get to uh her body's a wonderland liver jones right yeah we do yeah we got to get to liver we got someone coming in at seven we absolutely do so so what, uh, first, let's go. Hey, thanks again, Lolo. Let's uh, let's go through our Friday evening, Friday, May 14th. We got pianos happening down at Rajon Cajon. Right. Social Light, 2 to 6, Champagne Fix, 7 to 11 at Fast Eddie's in Bonaire in Alton. We got the Graham Curry and Dustin Greer. That's happening 7 to 10 p.m. at the Lodge at Lovejoy in Alton. They get a big uh, bluegrass festival down there next weekend. There you go. Big time. Big time. Big time. Big time, Big time Bill. Riverbend Bluegrass. Hey, man, that's some that's some good bluegrass going on there. Uh, about four or five other bands, too. <laughs> uh, but happening this weekend, Friday, May 14th, we've got the Owls, 7 p.m. at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey. Yep. We Flip got the Flip. Prong. Yep, go, go ahead. ahead. 7 o'clock at the Moose and Wood River. And for all the frog flippers, just head on down to Wood River. Uh, Trinity River Festival's going on this weekend. Uh, that's going on Friday. That's why our guests are here. That is why our guest Liver Jones uh, and the Flatworms are here. I almost said it wrong again. <laughs> so the so, uh, Trinity River Fest is uh, going on Friday and Saturday. We're just going to give you the Friday lineup right now. Yeah. Jay Sabo, Darian Rowe, Nico, Noble, Synapsis, Set Break Sarah's, Accidentally on Purpose, Everheart and Light, Agents of the Free, Hookie. That is your Friday lineup. That's that's a good good lineup going on there. Good start for the weekend. That they is got a good Saturday start coming for the too, weekend. right? And Saturday's even bigger. Uh, more there's there's even more acts on Saturday. So, uh, yep. What else we got going on? Scott Friday? and Carl going to be at the Loading Dock Friday at six o'clock. Lead Sled five o'clock at Grafton Pub. We got every little thing nine thirty p.m. at Patrick's in Granite City on Friday night. Yep. After midnight, 9 o'clock at Deutsch Village Inn and Pontoon Beach, Dave Catani. Catani. Catani, 7 o'clock at the Outlet at Edison's in Edwardsville. Lanny and Julie, 8 p.m. at the Back Bar in Edwardsville. And Jeremy Drake, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Right. Uh, Butch Moore. Butch Moore. 6 o'clock. 
at Reese's Brewery in Edwardsville. Butch Moore. There we go. He was fun. Yeah, Butch is a great player and great guy, man. Uh, also, we got on Friday evening, Pat Liston. He's 8 p.m. at El Flanagan's in Highland. And uh, Two Fish Out of Water. That's uh, Scott Marlin and Bob Emig. 7 to 10 at TR's in Belleville. And then we got Matt Tall, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Vintage Wine Bar in Waterloo, Illinois. That yep. is your Friday evening for the weekend. Well, well, we got more to go. We got Liver yeah. Jones and the Flat Worms. They are coming up, but first we have to blast through this Saturday right. night. Uh, Liver up. Jones and the Flat Worms will be playing at that Trinity River Fest on Saturday night, so we'll get to that momentarily. But yep. first, the Alton Farmers and Artesians Market, 8 a.m. to noon. That's at the corner of Landmark Boulevard and Henry, right downtown Alton. Week number two. Week number two. And uh, got, got some live music coming up soon down there with Josh Grassley. There you go. So not this weekend, though, just artisans. Yeah, artisans. Mm. <laughs> uh, Matt Tall, 2 to 5 p.m. on Saturday at the Brown Bag Bistro. So that's the uh, the pup crawl that's, yes. that's going on this weekend downtown. So uh, Brown Bag, Jacoby's, all them people, part of the pup crawl. Yeah, pup. not pub crawl. Right. Pup. You can take your dogs in. Take your pups out for a walk and get really hammered, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, sounds like fun to me. Right? Uh, we got pianos on Saturday night down at the Région Cajon. Mm-hmm. Anthony uh, Indiani and Jeff Landwer, 2 to 6, and Champagne Fix, 7 to 11 at Fast Eddie's. Everhart, yep. Everhart and Light, 6 to 10 p.m. at Chubby's. Parking lot party Saturday night with Flatliner at uh, Third Shoot in Alton. Oh, that'll be a good time. There you go. Uh, Tanglefoot, 7 p.m. at Baker's in Hale and Godfrey. And then the Vault, 5 p.m. and Throw the Horns, 9.30 p.m. at the Pump House in Wood River. Pump House back. Pump House is back. Go play some pinball. And then uh, Trinity Day, too, Saturday. Yeah, big one. Go ahead. Uh, Trinity River Fest on Saturday. We've got Autumn Conkle, the Sandwich Brothers Band, Hive Mind, Graham Band, Liver Jones, and the Flatworms, who we are going to interview momentarily here. Our playing interview that we did last week, actually. Uh, Bastard and the Crows, Birds of Squalor, the Riverbend Classic Band, Little Known Fact, Pow Junior 72, Fireside, Roaming Home. Cricket and the Grilled Avocados, Dean Justice, and Spilly Nelson. That's that's, all at the VFW and Cottage Hills. Right. And uh, trinitysway.org, if you uh, would like to donate, cannot make it, but uh, try to get out there. Good time. Yeah, and and if you just, uh, if you want to... Like he says, if you want to donate or if you just want to buy one of the shirts to help the cause, I believe they're selling them online this year. They're already up for sale. Right. So there you go. go and to- that's all to uh, improve the parks and help the animals. I, I, the money spent, there's a lot of trash cleanups, uh, not just on parks, but on streets right. all over the place. Uh, man, climbing up the bluffs, doing it, everything. Uh, we do a lot of trash pickups with through them uh, where they they pay for that. Uh, and they don't pay people. We get volunteers, but they buy the bag stuff. But mainly it's the uh, the animals. Uh, Trinity loves animals, loved animals, and they uh, do everything they can to help take care of the animals in the area. Thank you. There we go. Being a member of trinitysway.org i thought you should fill in the folks there there you go trinitysway.org that and that trinity river fest happening at the vfw and cottage hills both friday and saturday go check it out we got Uh, so excited uh talking to our guest tonight that i think we just kind of blew past it maybe mentioned the website but appreciate that pig pen yeah there you go in there Mo pleasures happening saturday 3 to 7 p.m at grafton winery right uh, the uh, Comancheros, mm. <laughs> 6 p.m. at the Hog Pit. I don't know those guys, but I like the name. Right. Uh, the Soulard Blues Band. Yeah, Ooh. with John Mondin now. Mondine. Mm-hmm. Uh, 5 p.m. at the Loading Dock. That that will be a throwdown right there. Right. Outlaw Opry, 6 o'clock at the Oyster Bar in Grafton. Flip the Frog, 7 o'clock at the Gold Bar at Rustic Retreats in Grafton. Simple Therapy, 2 to <laughs> 6 at Grafton Pub. Beowulf, back, 9 to 1. Nice. 9 p.m. Could you imagine playing 9 a.m. to 1? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> At Patrick's in Granite uh, City, right? Yep. Also yeah. uh, going on in Granite City this weekend, a benefit for Ronnie Young. 
Motorcycle Rally with the J.T. Hayden Band from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. at Deutsch Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. J.T. Uh, Hayden travels back and forth to Nashville doing some recording down there. There you go. Got a recording artist from Nashville playing yeah. in Pontoon Beach. Also, Darien Rose, 6 p.m. at the Recess Brewery, Brewery in Edwardsville. And then one of the names I love here. Yeah, the double called, header. Uh, yeah, she's got the double header. She's doing... Uh, uh, what the Trinity River Fest also? Uh, well, I'm talking about the Meatwood Flack. Oh, that oh, Meatwood Flack. Yeah, Meatwood Flack. Uh, Two to five p.m. at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Then Meatwood Flack is going to scoot on down to Collinsville to the Red Bar and do seven to ten p.m. So plenty of chances for you to get your fix of Meatwood Flack. <laughs> yeah, I think Darian's on uh, Friday, right? Uh, the, she, yeah, yeah, she might be. Room, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, we got a shrimp boil with live music at Who Dats. Mm. Don't know who the live music will be, but there's going to be a shrimp boil. We know that much. Mm, Dave Mendoza and Greg Dennis, 7 to 11. Is it Greg or Dennis? It's Greg it's, Dennis. It's Greg Dennis. 7 to 11 at the cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. Flip side, 6 o'clock at Wild Picks and Pickens in Chesterfield. Colossal Wreck at Slotsy's and Warden. Uh, that's mm. some of the members of Amped Up and uh, the drummer from Hooky, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Money nice. shot, 7 to 11 at the Two Rivers Marina in Rockport. And thanks to uh, Michael Kreider for uh, bum, 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 his bum, help bum, with bum, us. Bum, bum. I, I think you and Lolo got off on a rant there, and we didn't, we didn't take time to mention our sponsors. I did. I, I mentioned them. I, I got I got Halpin in. I got I didn't Matt have Van Boris in. Did you get Michael Kreider? And I did. Farmers? A little okay. bump, 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 bump. Right. Uh, here's a band I love the name of. Jesus Christ Supercar. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up every time I see it, but that's a funny one. Jesus Christ Supercar. That's her Turbo Diesel EP release party. Yep. <laughs> but it's sold out, so you can't Oh, go. wow. Yeah. I, I didn't even see that part. Yeah. I hadn't read that far. I, just, I don't pre-read any of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be with uh, Fluorescent uh, and Amber Skies at Alper Brewery in St. Louis. Congratulations to them for selling that out. There you go. Very nice. So that that leads us uh, leads us on to Matt Walterscheid, right? Three p.m. at Longshot Tiki Bar in Portage de Sioux, and that yep. that's the end of the uh, Saturday night yep. for the weekend. So that's pretty good. So we're there by the Cabana Bar. Cabana, right? You got it, man. How about our Sunday? Let's Sunday. Let's roll through it. Sunday, Denver, Wade, Trent, and Anthony, Nanny, one to five, cross the line, six to ten, at Fast Eddie's. We got Sherry and Ed, 2 to 6 p.m. at the Lovejoy Lodge. Everheart and Light, 3 o'clock at Chubby's in Alton. Lester and Floyd, 2 o'clock on the patio at the Pump House in Wood River. Two Pedros, 3 to 7 at Grafton Winery. Jared Harness and Nathan Gosnell, 2 o'clock at the Hog Pit in Grafton. Trilogy, 3 o'clock at the Loading Dock in Grafton. Grand Band, 1 o'clock at Aries Winery in Grafton. Jimmy on Keys, <laughs> 1 to 5 at Grafton Pub. Man, Grafton's happening. Isn't There's it? a lot going on in that town, man. It is. Uh, up in Chesterfield, Illinois, we got the Trag Band at Wild Pickens at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Right. We got the Vault 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. And then Scott Marlin 6 to 9 uh, at Friday's in South. It's Friday's South. Friday's South. Oh, yeah. there you go. Friday's South in Collinsville. Mm -hmm. That's a new one. I hadn't heard of that one yet. Well, that's Scott Marlin for you. He keeps people up to date. Yeah, and if you, you swing go. by uh, Marlin Music, you'll find out all about him. There you go. Facebook. Facebook. Yep. Uh, so also on Sunday, we got Dale Papp, 3 p.m. at the Old Herald Brewery in Collinsville. Lanny and Julie, 2 p.m. at the Cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. Right. Brian Clark, 5 p.m. at Patrick's in Granite City. Uh, Scott and Michelle, 2 to 6 p.m. at Deutz Village Inn on Sunday. Yay. And then Sunday, fun day, 70s acoustic show. Yeah. 1 to 5 p.m., that's at Rooster's Pub in Staunton. Right. And then uh, back to uh, yeah. uh, the guy we talked about before, Matt Walterscheid, right. uh, 3 p.m. Uh, I think we said that one already. Well, right? that's Sunday and it's Saturday. The, Sunday and Saturday, 3 p.m. at the Tiki Bar in Portage de Sioux. That takes care of the Sunday, man. Wow. There we go. That was a wow. lot of gigs. It took a while to get through it. Now wow. we need to get to the Liver Jones thing because that's, that's going to go on and on. I know. Yeah. I know. We didn't plan on getting a 30-minute late start, so there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I was trying to hurry you guys. Yeah. Sorry about that. There we go. Hey, and if you have any questions about those gigs, you're like, oh, they read them so fast, just go to cottonmouth.org, and all of those gigs, where they're where people are playing, it's all right there. Plus YouTube videos of the show. So there you, you can, go. Uh, Find it all right there. 
right. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors once again, Alpha Music Company, Matt Van Force, Macias Insurance, and bum, 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 bum. Alex Honky's sponsor, keeping him off the booze, <laughs> Michael Kreider, <laughs> who's probably not the guy to keep keep off the booze, off the booze right? <laughs> I'm he's, saying probably. He's keeping me I, on the booze. I can't <laughs> verify doing. any of it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, All right, well, let's, let's... Farmers insurance. There you go. Yeah. Let's kick into this uh, Liver Jones and the Flatworms interview. Riverbend Talent on the Big Z. I'm Dennis, and Pigpen's here. And, Pig Pile. Uh, Matt Van Voorhis is not here, but he is our sponsor from the CS Insurance. Hello, and, and Lydia probably said Halpin Music, but if she didn't, I just did Halpin Music. Halpin Still music, with Halpin us. Halpin Music, Halpin Music. After all these years. We don't have to mention them again. You just did like four mentions. <laughs> yeah, it's because I love them. Maybe five. I didn't count. It was so fast. One for each trip I made this week. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and Michael Crocker. Hey. Dun, dun, Farmers dun, dun, Insurance, dun, dun, dun. right? You got it, man. There you go. Thanks for your sponsorship. Yes, show. thank you very much. Thanks for letting me come in and jack around on Ooh, the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we actually do talk to people other than ourselves. So well, I talk to the other voices in my head. Right, Does yeah. that count? No, we talk to Similar our own voices. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we got returning and not returning guests. We, we do. We've had Floor 9 on the show. Right, right? but before that they were... Liver what? Liver, liver worms in the flat bellies or flat earth? Liver, no, what, no, no. Liver, liver earth, Jones. Liver Jones. Oh, hold on, now I got this. I wrote it down. Hold on, I'll, pull it right. together. Liver, Jones liver Jones and the flat worms and the flat bellies and the flat worms. <laughs> I'm just messing with these guys. Liver Jones and the flat worms. Yeah, I seen these guys play yeah. before. However, three of them sitting across from me, I seen as a different band. Right. They were called Floor Nine. Right. And well, that was in between. Three floor Nine? I don't know. That was like the sandwich <laughs> of the liver worm. That's right. So we're, let, let, we're going to talk to him about it. First, I want to introduce them all, right? So sitting just to my left here, so let's see if I can get this correct, maybe. You're Adam? You play guitar? Correct. Ah, correct. see? But I like to call you Tim. So you're going to go by that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. From here on out, I'll be calling you Tim. He's a young man. <laughs> right. ne- next to Tim. No, next to Adam is John. That's and right. John, yeah, well, I forgot to say, uh, Tim here, or Adam, plays the guitar. You're a guitar player, right, Adam? Correct. And John, you are a guitar and vocals? I try. I see you. <laughs> Trying's all we can do, sir. Next to him, we've got Mr. Ian. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, you you uh, jog. That's part of your what you yes, do? Yes, I do. I, I saw you on the river road. That's a yeah, nice we, fanny. We met. <laughs> we met. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pronounced <laughs> jogging. Who those tight shorts? I don't know. He was just standing on the corner, but he said he was jogging when I asked. I don't know. I was stretching. <laughs> I know. He was stretching, let yeah, me tell you. My hamstring was going out. <laughs> That's uh, a stretch. He saw me on the on the corner. I was flipping a sign that said tacos. I don't know. Uh, so, <laughs> Ian, you are a uh, guitarist, vocalist. I am. Yeah. There you go. That's not where you were doing right. on the corner. <laughs> That's not what he was doing out there. But <laughs> you want to make fourteen the hard way. Uh, so next to him we, we got Greg. <laughs> we got Greg. He plays bass and vocalist. That's correct. And and also sound man and all kinds of other attributes. Yeah, little trinkets, have, and yeah, yeah. whatnots. Yeah, and, and, and whatnots. And then right next to him, we have another Adam. This is just going to be too confusing. We're going to call you AJ. Works for me. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I renamed him Tim. And I, when I look at you, I think AJ Foyt, the great racer from my wow. childhood. There uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That That is your, uh, so, that is Liver Jones. Hold on, though. Hold on, hold on. All right. So, Adam, are you the drummer? Yes. Yeah, okay. Left, right? Well, I don't know because he he called Ian a jogger. I don't even think you <laughs> oh, brought up what he does. He, 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 <laughs> Ian is a jogger, but he, <laughs> and, and, and apparently a solicitating thing. I don't know. He also <laughs> raises chickens. He, oh, he raises oh, chickens. There you go. He throws pottery <laughs> and makes candles. He makes candles in both the both the past and the future, uh, not in the present though. And he is a guitarist and vocalist for Liver Jones and the Flatworms. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. So there, that that is the the whole lineup. Is, is there like six more of you that play too that aren't, didn't come up? I don't know. Um, just my just other personalities. Yeah. Just the voices in my head. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So now now let's so so Ian, Greg, and Adam, the drummer, were the Floor Nine guys. Yeah. Just to yeah. clear up all that. And, and to clear up another big mystery. Ooh, big John, mystery. Adam, 
and uh, uh, Ian are also all three of the guitar players, which is way too many guitars for one band. They think they're like yeah. Leonard Skinner. I don't mm. know what's going on. Like to keep people guessing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good plan. That's a good Who's plan. Who's playing that? <laughs> I'm taking it. Like, like you know, George Clinton, man. They got like 20 people on stage. You can take a break anytime you want. Yeah. Mm. You don't even have to tell the rest of the guys. Just walk off stage. Let's do your, whatever you're going to do and, you know, come, come back. back. With a different class. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, I yeah, look at that. All right. <laughs> For God's yeah. sakes. <laughs> hey, they used to be Earth, Wind, Fire, and Sage, but Sage was so lame. I don't even like, dude, you ain't even really a mineral, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. All right, so so we were. he was discussing earlier how you guys are floor nine. The three of you are floor nine, but let's go way back to the beginning because that was like an interim band, a little right. sandwich act. Right. <laughs> the, the very first recording by Liver Jones and the Flatworms came out back in 2002, the self-titled release. When did you actually start getting together to write that? Uh, Do you want to answer that? You know, that's that's a hard thing to put your finger on because really... Oh, what, you can say what, that again. They <laughs> tell me that all the time. That's what all the girls say. Hard thing to put your finger on there. <laughs> but uh, the way it really happened was probably just hanging out and, and, and jamming and drinking beer and, and having fun and really didn't start to recording until I had a couple of properties. Um, so had a house... Uh, moved into the place next door and started renovating that and that's when we really started playing I got a renter upstairs and that was Cherry Street third album name All right. and so we would go over the one of the stipulations of renting from me was we're gonna rock out in the basement <laughs> nice so you, you don't get the basement so get ready for some pumping sound and you the don't basement. Nice. sleep till we're done yeah. Yeah. Right. so you know that's, that's <laughs> really when things started getting rolling I think and then uh, she moved out and we got that first one taken care of and then macro was you know pretty quick after that or at least it felt quick yeah well, now, mm -hmm. now, 2002, the self-titled one comes <laughs> out, right? <laughs> it's not till 2006 that Macro, your second album, right. came out. So that's not that quick. I mean, that's no. you're drinking and having a good time, man. man. <laughs> time flies. Yeah. So, were you guys all friends when you met and got together? We're not friends, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like these guys. Acquaintance is a bit. Don't sir. even use that word. <laughs> hey, they got another Adam. Don't worry about it. Actually. <laughs> Actually, John was the first guy I met when I moved here from Chicago when I was 14. And uh, we lived in the same apartment complex. Yeah. And then I moved to Alton later in my years, and I found out he lived in Alton. And we kind of reconnected. Greg was already a rock star in high school, man. Oh. Oh, right. yeah. Now That's we're no getting joke. down to the brass I mean, monkey. He played all the, all the venues, and he was just, you know. He would come over after gigs. Hair galore. And jam with us. <laughs> So we would yeah. start jamming we, at like we 2 were, in the morning. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Who were you playing with at that time? Uh, Michael Shear from Pale Divine. Pale okay. Divine, nice. Yeah. There you go. Uh, now, what now, now, if we trace it back, though. Is that me. Alton High? Uh, no. no. Hazelwood East. Hazelwood East, okay. Hazelwood East. Hazelwood East. Hazelwood East. Yeah. Cool. But, but, and and my, I might have this wrong because my memory's foggy. I can't remember like 20 <laughs> minutes ago. But I, I feel like I, I know you from a band, from a high school band. I, I, uh, maybe Palace? That is correct. There you go. Yeah. Tony Morales and Palace, man, because I, I feel like right. I've known you for a long, long time that's, at this that's point. Absolutely. Was that, so was that Gus? Oh. Gus yep. Kodros, yeah. Tony Morales. What a great. And yeah. Lance Klein was my Lance neighbor. Klein. Uh, we, I, he had a basketball on his court, played out there every day. Uh, he lived right, you know, right three houses down or whatever. So, yeah, man, what a. Uh, I, was, I, I was thinking that when I saw you out there earlier, we were just kind of chatting. I'm like, yeah, I've known him for a long time, but I can't place like how far back it goes exactly. That's that's where. So, that's when I moved to Alton because I I went to Hazelwood East, and then my parents moved to Alton, and I read an ad in the paper looking for a bass player. And uh, I was in Palace. And wow! And, um, and Tony Morales, he could play guitar. Right? He was like 15 or something at the he time. He was 14 was when I joined that band, yeah. and he was probably the best guitar player I'd ever seen. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, at 14 years old, he could shred. Where I'm yeah. like. All right, I'm done playing guitar. I, 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 you know, there's no yeah. point in continuing at this point. And now he, that was a, that was a great band. Uh, so I was trying to put, put it in my head earlier. So there you go, all the way back to to Palace. Now, when you hook up with Liver Jones, you're playing Pale Divine. Uh, I was playing with Michael Shear, the lead singer of oh, Pale, Pale Divine. Pale Divine. Um, after post Pale Divine, um, with Steve Hunt from New World Spirits. I don't know if you remember that band. Uh, so we would do the three piece, and uh, there was another guitar player, Rusty, who would play with us. But we did that for ten years. Wow. Rusty. Um, so yeah. There you go. And then once you get together with these guys, 
just friends drinking, songs start happening. He on my way, actually cousins. Yeah, on my way home yeah, from gigs in St. Louis, two o'clock in the morning. The lights on at Cherry Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I could go home or <laughs> play and, more music. And that's why it takes four years to record a record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Though that's great. That's great. And, and then. It, <laughs> once the first album's out, you guys just kind of decided we got something going here. And, and did you did you quit sheer? Did you was you just like you know what I got something way no. better? Oh, no. Liver Jones and a Flat Earth. Uh, no, I, I, I've always been one to kind of play in a few bands uh, just to keep busy. Um, still do, um, but yeah, we just it just kind of happened kind of naturally. A couple songs started to stand out, and then we uh, you know I always had kind of a studio going on at my house, so. John and I started working on some demos, and he, you know, he was like, "We really ought to do something with this," and we did. So, you know, the first twelve songs came together. He wrote a bunch. He wrote. They at first, these two were writing all the songs, um, and I was just trying to keep their creative genius going, and by recording it, and <laughs> he was talking about me. Right. Yeah. yeah. So he, he's talking <laughs> about John and Ian. You guys are cousins, though, right, John and Ian? We are. Yeah. 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 And we we would get together and play acoustics and all that kind of stuff. And John always, I never played until I didn't start playing until twenty. I was twenty one. You know, blues, guitar, or anything. It really sucks because he's better than me now. <laughs> <laughs> but we uh, just had a good thing as far as uh, vocals and just kind of harmonizing together. And and uh, Greg was really just kind of the pusher of like, hey, let's do something. And that Cherry Street house, we just we recorded everywhere. I mean, yeah. upstairs, downstairs, run the snake, you know. Everything's yeah. been done. Yeah. We really got like eight or nine know. albums, but most yeah. of it's just on <laughs> hard drives. Yeah, you know? I believe so, it. I believe it. Yeah. There's a lot of songs that you know never will put on anything, but we have so many. Yeah, you got a whole album just from the bathroom downstairs, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> this is a magic place. Yeah, so that first album had twelve tracks on it, and then the second album had twelve on it, and then the third one had ten. How many is on the uh, latest one? 11 but there's some of those are you know interludes and mm. you know just musical pieces to kind of tie things together um and just goofiness yeah, um we, so cool. there's probably really only nine full length songs on that album you have just struck my interest with the word goofiness yes oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> my favorite now i've changed i haven't even heard it but i'm going with that one i, I think that's the one i'm gonna like we did do a great circus kind of thing where we, <laughs> oh, we took yeah. a pocket recorder and swung it from a, a string and <laughs> we were that. laughing and you know did these multiple tracks on nice. top of it. it was crazy man well, i love it already it was so fun so fun. I've done a lot of that. <laughs> See, done now that you've said the word circus, it's like the rest of the night. Do, 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 yeah, oh, do, 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 yeah, yeah. Going on. yeah, yeah. Like there's yeah. midgets Close. and all kinds of things flipping around. Like, I don't even know what. Step and John's right an English off. teacher, so he did the whole vocal thing, and it's <laughs> words that I can't even pronounce. The ringmaster. <laughs> yeah, the ringmaster. Writing you right. in. Nice. Right. Bringing you into the tent. Uh, the, Come so in. So the, we're in all three, uh, we're, we're all four of them recorded at Cherry Street? No, uh, so first, the first three, first two, and almost the third one. We yeah, got so, most of the tracks. Um, so, so this, this is this is interesting to me. So, you recorded a, a, an album entitled "Liver Jones and the Flatworms" two thousand two. Recorded it at Cherry Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recorded an album in two thousand six called "Macro." Right. Opposite of "Micro," people. It's two thousand six at Cherry Street, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in 2010, you record a song, an album somewhere else, and you call it Cherry Street. It's not a Cherry Street. I'm just saying. You guys, met, you guys are perfect. I love this. I love your line. Of we were, yeah. we were, it, we were sentimental about that place. Yeah. That place was uh, magical, um, and uh, you know there was there's drum sounds that we got out of that basement that I have no idea how we even you know. Was, um, but a lot of the it. stuff on three was inspired. You know, we started demoing tracks there, and then you know he's like, "I gotta sell this." <laughs> <laughs> right. Get out of so, here! So we, we have finished ruined this place in the past ten <laughs> no, really, years. Get the hell out! <laughs> we finished it at my house, but uh, some of the drum tracks were done at Cherry Street on Cherry Street. Yeah. We had we nice. had Adam up in the upstairs room one night doing the tracks for a, for one of the songs, and we had, all we had was this red light, and it was. <laughs> That the air conditioning went out in the house and it was summer, 
John was going. I'm out of town. Somewhere. I'm in Colorado. And on we have him upstairs. Up there. We have him upstairs. Out. Like, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> and we got this red hamburger light on him. And uh, to this day, he hates the song that we were. <laughs> we were Makes recording. him sweat every time you turn it on. We put him through hell. <laughs> Left the bad taste. He in was mad. Mouth, right? yeah. Yeah. Man yeah, up! It's only 120 it. degrees in there. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it up. The bad taste in your mouth was actually asbestos. That's why he sold the house. It's, it's fine, though. You'll be fine. It's, Probably. It's, no, I bought a window unit, actually, and we shoved it, yeah. we shoved it in the window, and then uh, we let it cool down, and then we were, when we were going to hit record, I would shut it off. Uh -huh. So, we would, yeah. so we you would do takes until the room got hotter yeah. and hotter and yep. hotter yeah. again, and I'm like, all right, it's got to yeah. come back on. Yeah. But he I still had the same red thing in my studio. Like, ah. Why can't they make one of these quiet? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Put a muffler on that thing. Now. Uh, All right. So that that's uh, that's awesome that you recorded your Cherry Street album somewhere else. <laughs> Whew, you guys are thinkers. Now, <laughs> so, so so this latest one. Now you've just re uh, finished recording one, uh, right? You're waiting for the pressings. Yeah. Like yeah, any it's, day now. It's done. Yeah. Out. It's it's off. The you know all the you know we finally quit capitulating and set it off. Hey, easy. It's a family yeah. show. Right. Watch, watch the language. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's done. It's called Thirsty. Uh, the title wasn't derived until we sent it off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. There's, so the cover of the new album is this blue and orange whoa, whoa, money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, this I guy's going to want royalties, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a There's car. A car. It's, it's a car. car. Deep, it's right. a car. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a car on Milton that it's a Monte Carlo on 22 inch yeah. round trucks. Yeah. And it has Thirsty painted on the side of it. Ah, and yeah. it's just so By classic. We Let's be honest, we're trying to appeal to the kids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it's honest. You're going to end up on a Chris Hansen show if you're doing that. I mean, <laughs> you know you drove three hours to be with a 12 year old boy. I didn't drive across three states and not be nice. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> some MMs and condoms. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like you. You're all right. You know, the, the farther we go, the more I'm like, you know, I like John. He's all right. Uh, I do too. So, so where did you record the last? This last. Uh, album? Thirsty was recorded at my house. Uh, there's a drum room in the basement. Uh, Air conditioning. It is. <laughs> it, does, yeah. it is. It's in the basement too. We're nice. not animals. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Right. Any longer. You're moving up, dude. <laughs> Any longer. Well, I'm in there with the furnace. It's the furnace. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait till July. You're gonna love it, man. <laughs> hey guys, fire up the furnace just to mess with him. <laughs> so no that. Light. So so you all that means means all four of your albums are all do it yourself type albums. Yeah. Yeah. We've always kind you know after spending. A few houses worth of money on albums in my past i i quickly learned that yeah i enjoy the speed i can go when i'm doing it myself yeah definitely you know, definitely where you just hit record and laugh at these bastards and yeah <laughs> i mean we um, wouldn't have any of them if it wasn't greg greg that's why we call him the captain because he right you know he knows i'll, I'll bring over something i'd toyed with and be like oh that that's cute you know, yeah. I mean, he knows what he's doing. You Let's know. do some change. No question about it. <laughs> Not a professional by any stretch, but uh, I, I do have fun with it. And now, if I remember right, we, we were talking, man, it's been years ago. It was Floor 9 was playing. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the new, uh, like, I got a Soundcraft. I think you had a similar type unit at the time, right? One of the newer... Uh, digital. Digital units. Yep. Well, mm -hmm. What I love about those is you can record with them flat, no matter what you're adding on. Why, you know, If you yeah. want a little something to sweeten the sound while you're recording to make it easier, but you can record it completely flat and make it sound right yep. better I, I love that option mm -hmm. i don't know why they're just coming up with it that should have been out pv should have come up with that one no. <laughs> yeah I, yeah when i think of all the racks of gear that that uh, little three space thing has yeah. replaced i'm like oh yeah i i, I got in a bit of a, a disagreement we'll call it with a, a guy from southern missouri uh, who still has an analog system all the racks, all the, and he said, "There's no way you can tell me that your new system sounds better than your old one." I said, "Absolutely, I've got all the compression I need. All the, e I, I only had four compressors right. here. Yeah. It yep. might be digital, but they're all compressed. They're exactly. all cute, you know. They, it, it's amazing what they've done, and the recording possibilities have mm. opened up a lot. So, did did you get uh, schooled on recording anywhere uh, specifically? No, it you know it all started at the birth of 
audio and computers. I've been doing it yeah. since the, the start, really. Um, even when I was syncing up computers with reel-to-reel -reel tape, you know, to get extra tracks. Right. Um, I started right at the very beginning on my 486 computer. Nice. And, you know, worked up Cakewalk version one all the way right. to, you know, whatever we're using now. But, uh, yeah. You know, just kind of learned as I went and made a lot of mistakes and made a lot of crappy tapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big difference between the sounds and, like, cakewalk and, like, some of the native sounds and yeah. things that are oh, out yeah. now. Like, oh, that sounds like real drums, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, that that early, early cakewalk stuff was, was yeah. fun to play with, but mm -hmm. never quite had the reality to it. Right. But yeah. how much fun is it to be able to Sounded have, pretty real in Vice Cops. I'm just saying. It was one of his songs he did on Cakewalk a long time ago, so I thought I'd bring it up. I forgot about that one. I did. That's embarrassing. It's right, beautiful. So. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, now all I'm thinking about is Cakewalk <laughs> and cake. Anyways, Chocolate. where were you going with all this? <laughs> uh, no, it, it's, uh, it's amazing the, uh, the technological advances that we've made since those early days. It's all ones and zeros now, baby. Yep. So, well, that that's awesome. So now the... the so doing it yourself has been with you from the beginning. Have you ever considered the idea that it would be, like if you had 10 songs, how easy would it be to go into a studio and not have to be the engineer, not have to be the producer? And we've, we've talked about that, you know, with Lighthouse Sounds in town, great studio. Yeah. Um, I would love to do that. Um, yeah. Just the way our, especially with COVID and everything, our schedules just net prevented that from happening. But not to say in the future, if we you know come up with another album's worth of material we wouldn't do that right um, well it, it can be hard to change hats in the middle you're you're engineering putting in you know you're 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 messing with the computer you're plugging things in and all of a sudden now i gotta play yeah mm -hmm. and Rick, that Rick's didn't problem, work so Rick's problem would probably be no wait 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 let me let me let me see over there let me get over there <laughs> <laughs> right. I, mean, I like what you're doing but try this right, right. now i've worked with some engineers who i totally admire and would totally trust um i would love to do that yeah. it's just you know in our history it just really hasn't presented an opportunity to do that yeah. it's but a whole it's a whole other atmosphere too i mean you you, you want to come in you want to get it done fast you want to get it done tight and why because you're paying by the hour yeah. Yeah, that's right. you sold the house money. on cherry street you're loaded now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's me baby <laughs> well greg now, i think you've done a great job i listened to all uh three albums and they sound outstanding so uh thank and, you and, and all the changes from 2002 until now that you've had to adjust to they still kind of got this ongoing sound throughout um, which is tough yeah and when i listen to those records too i i hear us and that's what's important right. to me you know i want it's to me it's capturing that laugh in the background or the yeah. Whatever I mean, that's just as important to me as you know the music itself. Sometimes, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the of the live recordings in the sense of okay. I mean, I I get you. You know, you may want to redo the vocals if you're playing a song if you're playing at the same time, so you can concentrate on just the one thing. But guys who sit in closets and punch in it every two seconds to get it right, it's just like what's what's what are you doing? What's the point? Yeah. Uh, some of the some of my favorite recordings are the old ones where guys are in Sun Studio or mm -hmm. you got the the Muscle Shoals or the Wrecking Crew and they're just in a room yeah. with yeah. some microphones jamming. Uh, the the music might not be captured quite as pristinely, but the mu the it music is like there. The, the right. feel yeah. is there. It's all yeah. feeling, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's what you're talking about with Greg and and, and us in general is like we've been able to keep that same kind of vibe even though through all the years right even though we're writing different songs and it, but the, still there's that vibe in there yeah and, and that's kind of awesome well and everything we've done has kind of been built on the right foundation of you know just friendship and the music yeah you know, we, mm -hmm. we've never had any like aspirations like what we need to do is cut yeah. ties and move to hollywood man. Yeah. right <laughs> we need a manager man. always been about no what we need is some gigs, gigs. Yeah. oh we don't need no stinking <laughs> Don't need a man. <laughs> right. Yeah. One of the yeah. greatest uh, <laughs> rock and roll arguments of all time, right. Sling Blade, right there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Shut scene. up, Randy. <laughs> we don't know what we need's a PA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. the type of beer we're drinking is always discussed before we. Do that. <laughs> yeah. we, get, we get the important things which, right. What you got That's over there? We kind of called it for a while. We called it like the Thursday night men's club because. 
it was just about getting together and playing and having a great time. And that's yeah. what we still do. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, you had to, I'm glad you changed the name because it sounds a bit of a sausage fest right. there with the thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm not judging you. I mean, hey, everyone we were, did hey, the thing. But. We were trying to get away, We, you know, and that yeah. was our slot. No sauna, like, we still sit around in towels. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. right. Every time I'm in a hot tub with friends, I turn the bubbles off just so it's a bath of friends for just a minute. <laughs> like, oh, they give me the soap. <laughs> 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 hey, we all party different ways, bro. That's right. That is correct. Right. Come on, Tim. No shade on you. That's Adam, the guitar player, not Tim. Come yeah, on. And the, Adam used to be uh, used to be a manager at Subway, and he'd bring us food. Like, oh yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> the wettest flat meat in town. Then day, yeah. a party of sub <laughs> yeah. cut up at Liver Man. Oh yeah. It was great. Enjoy. That's what gave you the liver worms. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Since, since he doesn't work there anymore, I don't eat there anymore. Well, if he doesn't <laughs> work there anymore, like let's talk about how up. wet that meat is. You can throw it against the wall and it sticks. No, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I'm sorry, Subway. Killing that meat off. You have fine bill. sandwiches. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, so Okay, back to the top. We got we What's got that? John and Ian, cousins. So you guys probably played when you guys were younger, like kids, right? I would call that kids. Yeah, kissing, <laughs> kissing yeah. cousins. I hear these days. I would say yes. And both their dads kids. played. Right. Yeah, um, our family's yeah. got a musical vein for sure. Right. Yeah. What was uh, your father's band? Anything we might remember? Well, uh, my dad made several recordings, but they were always of the uh, spiritual okay. genre. Uh, he was a, a pastor. Uh, he's retired from that, but you know, did counseling and everything else. Uh, but your dad played. Yeah, my quite dad a few was bands. Mick Jones. You know, from the area, from the pan. You know, he played in the Panics and the Bomex. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, and you know, recorded down in Memphis and all that kind of stuff. So recorded yeah. in Memphis, not as impressive yeah. as the Calvary Baptist, but that's no, pretty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, I and then this drifter right. Greg comes along yeah, and starts right. showing up in the middle of the night because Swing you guys this. are still jamming Swing in his band. Way. Quit. Come on, so he's like, that ain't enough. I need more jamming. But Mick, Uncle Mick was a great keyboard player. And, I mean, yeah, just cool phenomenal, yeah. man. So how'd you get the uh, the dual Adams? <laughs> Adam and Stereo? I, yeah. I met John when I was 17 through a mutual friend. Okay. And I already started playing guitar at 17. Okay. So it was kind of, he, he was playing. I was like, oh, you know, I want to play with more musicians as I, as I can to learn. I'm self-taught. So, so me and John hooked up. I mean, you know, we just started hanging out. And that's how I ended up meeting these guys. Yeah. You must like the same And you brought food. Yeah. That was good. And you brought food. Yeah. He's got a soap That's why they hit me around. Yeah, yeah. It was the food. <laughs> well, hey, where's the knife? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, I figured it's because I figured it's because you're the best guitar player, and they were like, "Hey, this guy's better than us. We need to get." Ian's <laughs> uh, he, the top-notch guitar player. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, but Tim uh, Adam has brought all kinds of inspiration for a lot of songs and sandwiches and sandwiches. <laughs> but no, I mean a lot of the the ideas for me writing vocals or or you writing vocals yeah. stemmed from stuff that he brought over just right. rhythm, rhythm right. guitar, so, and it's just like. You know, things click and so Don't many you of like you let us yeah, do you, you want some olive oil? oil. <laughs> there's never, salt there's pepper never too. like working there's never a problem like writing a song with yeah. us. Like we can write songs like every day. Yeah. I At mean, this point yeah. Yeah. the ideas right. are so um, and then Adam, like this we we were talking about the other day, I think this album is really more kind of his album in, in some ways because he's written a lot of the songs and been an inspiration, uh I think for this album more than anyone else. Nice, yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's like, plays a lot of leads this <laughs> yeah. time too. Uh, and, and, and then, then the drums. You, yeah, we got to bring up Adam Drummer. Yeah, how did how did you find this guy? What was he just like on the corner beating on a box and he you know, like hey, you bucket, want, bucket, 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 yeah, yeah, no, uh, he rides so. a three wheel bike. It's all right. Picking up cans along the road. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I see you all the time. I chuck cans at you when I drive <laughs> by. <laughs> Greg introduced me to John. Um, so I've known Greg for quite a while, and what, it was tax night. Why didn't you were doing my taxes? Oh, and, uh, <laughs> you do it all, Greg. You want to hang out and drink beers? Yeah, man, I, I, I got to go over to Cherry Street and jam. I'm like, oh. He's like, we need a drummer. You know? Yeah. You want to come over? And you're yeah. one. So I did, and I'm still there. 
You, you got a, you got a, your, you got a place in the band and your taxes done. That's right. And mm-hmm. multitasking and right to drink there. Beer with. So there you we're, go. We're losing okay. the kids again. How, how long now you been my playing? Turn. How I long you been John online? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know more about drums. How long you been playing? Like what got you started? Oh God, what got me started? Um, it was actually the orchestra teacher in grade school that got me started. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on drum. Her name was Miss McGillicuddy. No, well, I started I playing violin, and then the band teacher stole me from the orchestra teacher, and I started playing drums there. And then nice. I went to junior high and started playing with the drum set because another orchestra Didn't teacher said, "Here's the keys to the closet. Get in there and pull the drum set out. I think you can play a beat." Nice. That's funny. It was my gym teacher put me in the closet. Oh, wait a minute. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm very confused. Are you still in therapy for that? I, it's never ending. It's never ending. Oh, oh, put the balls away. Make sure you get all the rubber balls and put them away. <laughs> so we know, we know he's from Hazelwood. Where are you guys from? John and Ian, where are you guys from? Well, I grew up in North Canoco. Let's go. No okay. Uh, okay. Hayeswood, Florissant, um, you know, all around over there. Went to Hayeswood East. There's okay. so many murders in North County, we're not even allowed oh to report them. Oh, my gosh, them. man. <laughs> Just <laughs> it's getting bad, but, but I moved over here probably 90, 92, 91, 92, yeah. uh, and never left. Like right good, before good the for you. 93 flood, you know, I, I lived with my brother for a year, and then Cherry Street was next. Mm. Um, yeah, the Third Street house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or West Fourth, West Fourth, West Fourth. That's right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Love that's the name of the next Christmas. album. West I've been to all those yeah, red lights. Right. Go yeah, backwards. There we know. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ian? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Alton here originally. Okay. Uh, my parents divorced uh, when I was four, I think. I believe eighty two or what was it? Yeah, what'd you call so four? It's what? close. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in therapy, yeah. too. Yeah. We made him think, man. Uh, sorry, 76. Yeah. And we moved over to uh, Manchester. Yeah. And that's where I lived until I graduated high school. Mm. And then came back. Came and we back. were still kind of buds even back then. I yeah, mean, we'd always hang out. Yeah, yeah. so. Well, family we're reunions. Close, we're close to you know, age. Like kissing cousins. Five. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten, what, how many months? Is it, Is it probably about ten? Yeah, that yeah, sounds Ten right. months? Church yeah, social. If I start counting, I'll embarrass right, myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and uh, what about you, uh, Tim? Tim? See, I call Adam him. the guitar player. I, I keep calling him Tim. <laughs> born and raised in Alton. Oh, right. Adam, born and raised in Alton, and the other Adam, Mr. Drummer? Hazelwood. Okay. Hazelwood. Too many okay, Hazelwood yeah. people in here. I'm uncomfortable with it. Good mix, <laughs> Illinois, Missouri. Now, right. now he's Brighton. Yeah. Uh, so oh, okay. We, 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 we all go. migrated. There good you go. For you. Burgoo soup. Well, I had to. Right? I had to jump the creek a couple times and move over here and then huh? back and yeah. then back over here. And before that, Istanbul. But that was. Oh really yeah. Good. <laughs> Big tour. <laughs> 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 Uh, so so now what what happened where the band ended up splitting up? What year was it where the band kind of dis- devolved for a minute? I just and then and then floor nine came into play. I just think there was just after uh, after the third album was difficult to finish. There was people interest was you know everybody was losing interest. Um, finishing that record because you sold the Cherry Street That's house. I, I lose interest too. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you say that, but that had a lot to do yeah. with it. Mm-hmm. We didn't have we didn't feel like we had a home. And uh, there, you know, hanging out at my house, my wife, like the Jews know, wander the in the same. desert. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, so I think that had something to do with it not having that central location, that that safe place, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. these guys just kind of disengaged, and we were like, "Well, let's break in your house with beer too." <laughs> so <laughs> we just basically we just didn't stop. We just yeah. kept getting together on Thursdays and. Uh, um, before we knew it, we had another album. So we were like, let's call it Floor Nine. Okay. <laughs> in the and, furnace room. In the furnace room. <laughs> yeah, so nice. We're in the furnace like, room. You're two levels below C, two, two floors below C level, and you call it Floor Nine. You leave Cherry Street. You're like, let's call it Cherry Street. Yeah. I don't I'm, know. Look, we're all we on the uh, we're that. all on the spectrum. You guys just seem a little deeper in the meat than most. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we were going to call it Thursday, but like that's a little too obvious. <laughs> Everything's about Thursday. We're here on Thursday. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So wow. is that why the new album's called Thirsty? 
Thir- <laughs> Thursday, no, that, Thursday. That has to do with the car. No, thirsty Thursdays. That's with the guy who wants royalties of, over his car. A lot of thirsty <laughs> Thursdays in I'm there. I'm talking about it. <laughs> Maybe subliminally. <laughs> And, and because we're always thirsty. Uh, right. There you go. Uh, so, so now you guys playing Trinity River Fest. We talked about that. What, right. which, which day? Saturday? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday 15th. Oh, so wow. anybody who wants to hear songs off any of these albums, you're going to be just doing songs off the new album? You're going to be covering some old stuff, we're too? Gonna, yeah, yeah, we're cool. covering a little bit of every th- all the albums. Uh, you know, a good chunk of stuff off the new record. A lot of stuff off three. You only got 40 uh, minutes. I saw the set. Don't get too excited. No, yeah. I know. We, we might have to cut <laughs> it back a little bit. Uh, we're going to try yeah. and set up quick. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to play them really fast. But yeah, a little bit of everything. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do them. Well, what is it about playing them live? You do. You, I, we, you always seems like Excitement. you play really fast when there's a crowd in front of you. Oh, I always yeah. assume it's because I think I'm not good at this and I want to get it over with quickly. <laughs> but like other guys do it too. What do you do it? I'm just, I'm just going to try and yeah, keep You're him on from speed. speed. Right? I'm going to keep him from speeding it up. You ah, mm. you're, you're, the, you're the timekeeper. You're supposed to keep them from speeding it up. Oh yeah. What you, what, what's the deal? <laughs> he's like, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't even know where you are. I, you're the only cat. one here more wasted than me. I, I like love you. it. I, I love like it. you. You and Tim are both cool, and John's kind of hot. But <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're cousins, but they're like the stepbrothers over here. Ah, yeah. Ah, somebody's been playing my drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, oh, it's funny, but I can tell that, by the that, ball pretty much I do have, have his true. old drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are like drum. the stepbrothers. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right so there so. you go. So what, any uh, any plans other than Trinity River Fest? Anything else coming up for you guys? And and the release of the album, obviously. Think think you're going to have it by then? Uh, that's the goal. Is to have it. Hopefully, it's back to us by then, and we uh, we'll be tossing out copies to people nice. left and right. And and I'd be on the phone with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood, here we come. Right? And uh, yeah, uh, just yeah. looking. You know, now that things are still starting to open back up again, yeah, maybe do some more shows, more festivals. Get a PA, something uh, like that. We got, we got get a those. manager, get a PA, get some gigs. All you need is Eddie Van things. Halen. Yeah. That's all we need is Eddie Van yeah. Halen. <laughs> you know, for years we played a lot of gigs, right? in town and and yeah i mean we'd fill the place and we play three sets who does that what original yeah. bands yeah. you know That's play all night music. nice but you know you bring you bring the crowd and no bar owner cares we like play what you want you we know, drink as right. much as the crowd so they like us yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we yeah, get we, back to doing that hopefully. yeah absolutely so we i have one good. one more vital very important question to ask yeah where in the hell did you come up with the name <laughs> Liver Jones and the Flatworms? It's always a question. It well, is, yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of pictures of livers. We, we strive were, on making each other laugh. The, so. There was a song about the river, and and when we uh, Obed Khan, who I would assume you guys know uh, him, played one of the lead tracks, guitar tracks on the initial debut album. And so we were over at Jason's, and um, we said, what about River Jones? And I think you were the one that said, no, no, how about Liver Jones? <laughs> and, that sounds great. And, you know, he he's, he's always going to mess with, you know, whatever it is that's recommended. And, and then someone just said, yeah, and what are those little, you know, worms that you, like, split in the middle in, in biology class and you know, flatworms? What do you want me to say? It ah. stuck. It did. Ah. Never Jones and the flat John, stuck. John there was beer involved. One. He brought a flat <laughs> worm from school. <laughs> he, he was te- yeah, he's a teacher, so he got one. He got a flat worm and brought it to practice. Yeah, <laughs> it was like our little mascot. It we died. Put in some tequila. Now it's in, yeah, in my so liver. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'll be honest. I took a guess because when I heard the name Liver Jones, I thought. Oh, these guys are some drinkers. <laughs> Their liver is Jones and they shut down. Just give me more yeah. liquor and kill me. Well, man. and flatworms feed on off the, off the liver. liver. Oh, there you go. wow. So, you know, it's good. You're not wrong. Though. So that's why you have a lot it's of pictures of, of liver on your Facebook page. <laughs> Yeah. Because you do. Some yeah. of the pictures of Flatworm are a little risque, so if you're going to go to their website, you might want to scrub your browser afterwards. <laughs> I didn't see a Flatworm on there. I think uh, you guys need to update. you got to dig a little. Probably. Oh. Yeah, I saw I saw <laughs> some Flatworms doing horrible things to each other. Horrible. That's in the hidden blog section. Okay. Uh, yeah. blood. i got to sign up for Patreon or something. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go in the VIP room to see the Flatworms, man. It's, it's the worth second it. hour is way better. <laughs> 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 oh man there you go so that is 
Adam, Adam, Ian, John, and Greg, they make up liver Jones and the flatworms, or I like to call them liver belly and the flat earth. I forget what it is now. It's called <laughs> liver worms and the we flat earth. Worms yeah. The yeah, liver worms and the flat earth project. <laughs> I don't know. But hey, guys, thanks so much for coming in. Looking yeah, forward to seeing the show. Uh, not this week. Oh, no, this weekend, because this no. will play next Friday. Uh, looking forward to seeing the show this weekend, this Saturday, at Trinity River Fest. 240. At, at 240 Jones. Saturday at Trinity River Fest. Also, hope to uh, get up my hands on the new album, Thirsty, and check that out, man. Yeah. Come early, stay late. So we're glad to be part oh, of it. I will. It's yeah. a good cause. Yeah, Come great on cause. Out. Great cause. Support it. Um, Trinity's a way. Dot org. A lot of good bands. A lot of good bands. Yeah. In my band, there's a whole bunch of good bands in my band. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your band's pretty good. So hey, thanks again for coming down and uh, talking to us. It's been a while. Nice to catch up with you all. Nice to call you all different names than what you are. Cause that's <laughs> just what I do for fun. Yeah, and and uh, everybody out there, get out and get the uh, the new Liver Jones and a Flatworms album. It's going to hopefully be available out there this weekend. It's called Thirsty. If you can't get that, buy Cherry Street or Macro or the self-titled one. They're all available. Look them up on Facebook. Look them up on Facebook. Look them up on YouTube. If you go to their website, scrub your browser. It's not for everybody, but it's good <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. And uh, get out and check those guys out. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate Thank you, you coming Thank down. You Thank you so much. All right. On behalf of my host Dennis Laird and our sponsors Halpin Music Company Matt Van Voorhis of Macias Insurance and Alex Honky our engineer sponsor Michael Kreider from Farmers Insurance and Money Shot and from the band Money Shot that's right hey thanks to all of them for allowing us to come in here and jack ass around like this all of you get out to the Trinity River Festival this weekend I don't know, like 20 bands playing between the two days do not miss it great cause great cause great music great times you can see me wasted I'll probably be naked who knows get out and support local music that was last week on the show you <laughs> it's, 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 lifted it's, your shirt it's pretty odd awesome. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, often. He did it All again. Right. So there you go. Get out and support local music and art. See you next week.